Alright guys, so today we will be uh, snagging mullet with like treble hooks. Uh, but right now I'll show you what you're probably going to need. You're going to want probably a treble hook. You can catch them on single hooks. Treble hooks make it way easier. This is about, I'd say two ounces. It's like a big snag snagging rig already rigged up. But if you don't have one of those, uh, I'll show you how to make one at the end of this video. But just using a treble hook and a weight but right now I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna need you're probably gonna want a treble hook or a snatching rig a weight you're probably gonna want to make the thing I show you at the end of the video but this is the setup I'm using I'm using a 5,000 size reel you really want a four or five thousand size reel because surprisingly these mullet fight hard whenever they're snagged and I'm using this on a medium heavy rod let's see I don't know where it says it but I'm using it on a medium heavy rod and I'm using 20 pound braid and that will give me the casting distance I need and I can cast so far with like a two or three ounce snagging setup but yeah so let's get into the video snag it, but while reeling fast, I just had one. There you go, guys. I got one. Uh, oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Uh, I can't believe it, you guys. Right outside my dock. I got one. Cast netting. Not cast netting. Snagging. Oh, these guys fight so hard. Alright, he's hooked pretty good. He's a perfect eating si oh dang, he's fighting. Perfect eating size one. He looks hooked pretty good, so I'm just gonna flip him in the boat here. Ah, uh, right off my pontoon boat. The back of the tail. Aha, uh -huh. that's one. I think I might try to get one more to make a meal. And I'm gonna eat this guy. Got one, you guys. Got another one. Oh shoot! I stand on my dock, like top part, to try to get a better view. Oh. oh, he's under the dock. They fight so good. Flip him onto the dock. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Alright, he's wrapped around a chair, but guys, he's right down there. Just snagged me another one. Haha. <laughs> Got him. He just barely snagged, too. Right there. That's another one. About the same size, I would say. Right in the side. Alright, I think this will be enough for a meal. Let me just look. If there's more, I might stay a little bit longer, but. I got two right now. That's enough for a meal. Let me just look for one more. If not, I'll go ahead and cook this guy up with the other one. There we go. Got another one. Another one right there. No, I don't know where he's going. Oh, you guys got that right? Oh, they fight so hard. There we go. It's a nice one. Oh, where's he going? They fight so hard. Being foul hooked. Oh. There we go. I'm back on my little stand thing. I was just coming to dump, them, dump the guts. And I saw a couple of them. Oh, there's another school over there. This is a nicer one. I see another school as well. Alright guys, so now I have the mullet. Uh, 
actually he's pretty much still alive but I got this one and then I got the one right over there but I'm just gonna show you guys how to flood this one just right behind the ears you can turn your knife you really want a sharp knife go along that backbone just like that and look at that there's still guts and stuff but you didn't miss much meat now take the ribs out there you go you got a nice fillet now skin it Just like that. And it was sort of a small fish, but that's a nice size fillet. I can probably get another one. Just like that. All that is the guts and stuff. But as you guys can see right there, I have two nice fillets. And I still have one more fish. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fillet this guy, and then we're going to cook him. Alright guys, so... Now we're going to be cooking the fish, so I'm going to turn on the burner first. There we go. And I'm going to show you my favorite way of cooking well. All I have is a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm going to put it on. Just like that. And I'm going to wait for that to start boiling or getting hot. And we're going to be using... Zatarain's fish fry. They have all different kinds of like, uh, what you might call it, flavors. But my favorite is the Kiss Crispy Cajun. It's just a really good flavor. I got the mullet here, and then I got some of the fish fry. But while that's heating up, what you need to do is put the mullet. In the fish fry you want to make sure that your mullet or your fish is still like wet that way you don't have to dip it in like egg or milk or something and then you just shake it around all right now since the mullet or your fish is in the fish fry basically you can tear off a little piece to make sure all right and it starts to boil almost you're not boil it starts to fry so what you want to do is you want to take your fish, you want to gently lay it down in there. Otherwise, if you splash, the oil could go all over you. And I'm going to have to do these two at a time. So, just like that. Those look delicious already. I'm going to let that fry for like a couple minutes, probably like one, two minutes. doesn't even take long. And then I'm going to flip it. And then it'll be done. So, yeah. Alright, it's been a little bit. I'm going to check it. And I think it can go a little bit longer. Yeah. So, now we wait. Alright. See, once it gets, like, crispy on the outside, that's how I like it. Right then, you want to flip it. And look how good that looks. That looks delicious. And it only takes just a little bit on this side. It doesn't take long. Like half the time it was on the other side. So. Get you a plate with napkins ready. Something. Alright. And it's ready. Now you just want to figure out a way to get it out. Just like that. And look at that. That looks beautiful. Now I'm going to put the other fillets in and I'm cook the other fillets. Alright guys, so here's the final view of the mullet. 
This looks so delicious in that fish fry. Now, we've cooked and ate mullet on this channel before, but we pan fried it in butter and Tony's. This is my favorite way of doing it, is pan frying it. So if you want to see the video where we uh, pan fried it, we caught them with cast nets and pan fried it. I'll put the link in the bottom, or the description. But right now I'm going to try some of this and let's see how it is so yeah all right guys so to make this snagging rig setup you're basically going to want some leader line i'm picking the 30 pound line you don't really need thick line just just it's better than braid because the fish won't see it coming cut this Alright, my knife is super dull. You're probably going to want one to two feet of it. Cut it. Just like that. Then, you're going to want to put your treble hook on. Wherever you want. I'm going to put it like halfway down. And all you got to do is make a knot. Any knot you want. As long as it's strong. Alright, I'm using the improved clench knot, and just like that. Then you're just going to want, the tag end's going to be down here, and I left about 4 to 6 inches. All you're going to want to do is now tie on your weight. And this does not have to look pretty, it's not like they're going to want to bite it. All you're going to be doing is snagging it. So... Put another knot on there. Jeez. All right. Alright guys, it took me a while to get that knot, but I've done it. So, now I got the weight, and then I have my treble hook. Put your swivel on here, and then just like that, you're done. And then after you get your swivel on, all you do is cast into a school mullet, or wait until you see whatever fish you want to snag. Now, you don't have to uh, put one treble hook. I'm not sure how legal it is, but... If you want to, you can probably put four, so I don't know if that's legal, but that's basically a snagging rig, and it'll probably work the same as that, just I don't have the big that big of hooks, but so yeah. Alright guys, so that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.